السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Blessings to all of you So finally we reached the holy months of Ramadan and we need to know that Ramadan is not just a month but it is actually described as a being yeah. and for this reason it is also given as a name to people yeah. if it was just a month then it would not be named as a name for a human being, but it is actually a being itself. Yeah. So the Prophet وسلم, he used to pray towards the Ramadan, he said, by the Ramadan, I wish so and so and so. No? And so how we can think it, you see, because it descends, it descends very strong strong on us and we can feel it yeah so it is not something that is just a kind of constellation that is whatever important for us but it is actually a mercy it comes as a mercy and it says that in the first 10 days there's the aspect of mercy and the second 10 days it is the aspect of forgiveness and in the third 10 days it is the protection from hell so ramadan is a very strong and came with a very very strong wave this time it landed incredibly strong and it has this power to lift us up to really make us to come out the best inside of us as it is said in this time the our egos or the Karin, that aspect of our egos the shaitan is in chains yeah he cannot move so he cannot be active so the many aspects that are connected to this evil force they are bent for us in that time they are somehow under God. And when we fast, we tune in in this constellation, we tune in in this vibration. And this is very important because this Ramadan is a preparation for the things to come as an old era, an old time is going to finish and a new time is going to arise. And if we can say the old time is about greed, about looking for our advantage, always me, me, me first, about corruption, about cheating, about lying, about deception, yeah, uh, propaganda, and so on, the second era will be, of course, a very different one. Yeah. And if we cannot let go from those behaviors, from those uh, egoistic behaviors, then we will have a lot of trouble and we will not enjoy our life anymore on this planet because the vibration will change, you know, and we will all have to come to our better self, to the self that is linked to the voice of the conscience, no? And the conscience is linked to our heart. So when we have a question in the future, what to do and how to do, we have to think to first always ask our heart, right? And it is something that most people never do in their whole life, yeah? that they connect really with their heart and they ask their heart, yeah? Like, it's one way to say thank you to my heart. This is already not so easy also, but let's say this is easy, but really asking your heart directly, no? What do you think about this intention of mine or what do you think about this plan of mine? Yeah. And the heart will give you a very clear signal in the terms of that you feel there is a support, a strength coming into your organism or that you deplete 
of energy. You know? This is how the heart speaks to us. Yeah, it speaks on an energetic level to us because it is connected to the higher dimensions. And in those dimensions, we do not receive, uh, first of all, words in that sense, but we receive energetic messages. Yeah. So our heart, when it is happy, when it is content, when it is strong, we feel that life is beautiful and meaningful. If it is not supporting us, we feel, for example, life, we ask, in the worst scenario, we ask ourselves, what is it all about and what do I live for and what do I care for? And everything is so dark and, and meaningless and so hopeless and so on and so on. No? That is very much this kind of emotional view to your life or to the general view on mankind is very much connected how you look and how you connect or how we connect with our heart. Yeah, We said it often before, the next revolution is not a political revolution. It is not something that will be a movement uh, that acts politically, but it will be an awakening that we are all connected through our heart, literally, in a physical way, in a tangible way, and that we, through these connections, we start to communicate on a different level. And this is when we say, when we talk about the fourth dimension, or Gurdjieff was saying the fourth path, no, the fourth way, it means this energy that is described as a star energy. Yeah. That means we are able to interact and to communicate with what happens in the cosmos, in the stars, and how they are so important for us. So this Ramadan, I'm sure, will be very different than the next following ones in its nature. And it is already coming and approaching with a lot of love, with a lot of kindness, with a lot of mercy. You know? That the title of the creation of this world is Bismillah Rahim. This is the title under which this whole universe has been created, but especially our Earth. Yeah. And therefore, if we just look in our galaxy, we cannot find a planet so beautiful than this planet. And it has been given to us with a great generosity and with a great love. Yeah, it is a paradise, literally a paradise. And it is made according to paradise. And this is what people see when they pass from this world to the other world. And they come, they are accepted to come into these heavenly abodes. Then they will see that they find an earth that is so similar, but even more beautiful. Yeah. So we wish to everyone a very deep and successful fasting that brings us in the best way to the things that we should look for, that we have to see clearly and that we can see clearly in this time. No. As the fasting is not just a physical fasting, but it is also an emotional fasting of our negative emotions. You know? So we stay far away from envy, from useless anger, from useless accusations, from pride, from jealousy, all these things that are usually we carry with such a uh, passion out in ourselves. You know? And inshallah, 
all fasting that will be accepted and we will come and enter in a new level of our being of our journey to what's the divine and to ourselves so thank you everyone and may Allah bless your families and bless your beloved ones and bless your health and wealth and grants us to reach the end of this holy month. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.